Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot and to another tour. This is Alex, this time Casino Pier in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, on the Jersey Shore. Uh, this is an updated tour. We did one about three years ago, but uh, some stuff has changed and that was one of the first videos I made. So uh, we got to update it. So let's show you everything. This will not include Breakaway Beach Water Park, but subscribe because we definitely want to visit that. It looks very fun and interesting. We just don't have time this year to do it. So. Uh, you see some clips of it, but subscribe for when we do a tour. Uh, let's just start off right now with the first thing you see here, which is part of the uh, the pier technically, is the chairlift. It takes you down quite a ways, about a quarter of a mile or so, very slowly, very scenic. Gives you a good view of all the stores that you can shop and all the things that you can eat. And uh, there are prices for a one way and round trip. So we'll give you some prices for things and uh, they are current as of July, 2020. Round trip is $8 and one way is five. Here's a look at all the rides and how much each one of them costs. And here's a look at some of the special promotions they have. They do offer wristbands uh, during some special times of the day or days. So uh, coordinate that. If you got your whole week of the beach, you know, like Wednesday nights, $28 for a wristband for four hours is a pretty good deal, considering one ride will cost you probably $5 at least. First thing you see is one of the tallest attractions in the park, the Shore Shot, which is an s, &S air launch tower. Goes up about 100 feet or so. I believe the Ferris wheel is actually taller, but uh, definitely the tallest thrill ride in the park. And you do get to go a second time right after you finish your first launch. So uh, that's either a good thing or a bad thing for you. From the shore shot, we will go clockwise more or less around the entire pier. Shore Shack, not quite yet ready, but it's a pretty standard looking fun house. You got some like uh, rocking walkways, rocking steps, a barrel, mirrors on top. And then uh, right across from it is the Crazy Crabs, which is kind of like a scrambler, but tilted with back-to-back -back seating. You have this fun uh, alligator here. And then over here you have the bumper cars themed to uh, rock and roll. No island, so it's a free-for-all. Those are always the best. They even have some entertainment on select nights. And then you have a little kitty boat ride right here. And to the right, you have a little classic carousel with reindeer and dragons and uh, chariots, roosters, and more. Before we get into more of the kiddie rides, uh, here's Hydrus, their premier roller coaster, a Gerstler Eurofighter. It goes upside down uh, three times, arguably two or three times. It has an overbank that almost inverts you. Uh, vertical lift hill, beyond vertical drop, a loop, a heartline twist, and if you're on the far left side, just look up and you'll see nothing but ocean when you go over that overbank in the far end there. <laughs> And then continuing on to all the key rides, you have the Dizzy Dragons, which is like a teacup. You can spin it just like a teacup, but uh, you sit inside of a dragon. You have the pony cards, which is these cute little carts and kids can ring the bell as they go around. And then a uh, Dumbo-like attraction right here where the kids can control whether it goes up and down. And then the final ride, which adults can ride with, is a Speedway, which is like a mini whip ride, which is just as fun as a big one from my experience of riding a couple of these. And that trail lift is right over all these rides, which is fun. To the right of the Hydra, you have the super slide, which is what it sounds like. You get on the burlap sap egg and you uh, go down a few dips. And then 
to the right of that, you have a little fun house here with some net climbing activities uh, and a slide. Pretty simple. I would definitely uh, suggest kind of doing this one on a wristband. It's very short and it would be $4 a kid without any of the discounts of buying in bulk. Over here is the entrance to their giant Ferris wheel. I would estimate about 150 feet, which is pretty awesome. No single riders allowed. And right across from it is the Pier Pub with uh, nothing too special on tap, unfortunately, but uh, love that. And then this big building isn't just an ugly building. It offers a pretty awesome ride inside, the Centrifuge, which uh, we'll show you the video here that's playing. Uh, it's a scrambler that has a bunch of indoor effects inside. Right here, we actually have two roller coasters. They're like nesting dolls of roller coasters right here, which is pretty freaking awesome. So we'll show you both of them right now. Uh, the orange and blue one first is Zola Loco, which is a spinning coaster and a looping coaster. You have these hamster cage vehicles and they have two different lines. As you can see, there's absolutely no line for the spinning cars, but uh, the looping cars are quite popular. So uh, just be in mind of that. It costs the same price no matter if you do the looping or if you do the spinning. It's hot tamale. This was moved when they built Zola Loco right inside of the roller coaster. So as you can see, it's really cool how the two coasters are basically like dueling each other. That, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this is its like third or fourth placement on the, uh, the pier. Maybe more, I'm not even sure. But uh, yeah, very cool uh, placement of a uh, very friendly, friendly kitty coaster for everybody. And across from that is the Music Express, which is a uh, Music Express type of attraction. You go forwards and backwards, double up, double down, and uh, as you can see, you definitely squish the outside person as you go around. Then there is the Sky Coaster right here, which uh, is not open today, but I'll insert some footage from a few years ago. Uh, you basically suit up in something that's just very similar to a uh, a gliding highness, and then uh, you're lit winch backwards, you pull a ripcord, and you swing back and forth. And here are the current prices for the Sky Coaster, which is pretty much in line with Sky Coasters these days. Here's the Moby Dick, which uh, gives you a little bit of a view and also gives you that weightlessness feeling as you go up and down and around. Here is Pirates Hideaway, their final roller coaster, which may look like a part dark ride, but unfortunately, once you get inside, there's literally nothing inside of there, but a empty room, unfortunately, but the facade looks fantastic. It's got this cool spiral lift hill, a couple of drops, turns. Uh, be sure to brace yourself for the brakes because they can be quite abrupt and can be a little painful if you're uh, a male, if you know what I mean. Then you have the Superstorm, which is a pendulum type ride that goes completely upside down while spinning you on the disc. And talking about spinning you, this giant right here is the Skyscraper, which spins you around at about 70 miles per hour, uh, over 150 feet. 50 feet tall, uh, very fast. Uh, you get to go upside down. Gravity kind of uh, determines what happens with that one. Although, you, with swinging your legs, you can kind of uh, aid in how your ride is. One of the final adult rides that we have here is the Disco, which is a pretty common ride. You ride in like a motorcycle seat type harness, and then uh, you go back and forth while spinning. And before we finish, we have a few more kid rides. You have the car combo, just a bunch of different cars, including the mystery machine. You have the motorcycles. And then you have the jump around, which is a circular ride, but the cars literally bounce up and down when you uh, go around. 
Very fun ride. Adults can ride with their children. Then we have the Mermaid Parade, which is a mini little log flume. Very cute for the little kids. Adults are not allowed to ride this one for sure. And then behind this ticket booth, we have a wave swinger attraction. And a classic tilt-a-roll. So that's everything you can do on the pier. We have two mini golfs to show you, and uh, that's gonna be about it from Casino Pier. One of my more uh, cherished shore parks on the Jersey Shore for sure. And especially with those wristband deals that I think just started, so that's why it got really busy uh, as this tour was a uh, being filmed. And here is the mini golf. Eight dollars per person. Old school putt-putt and a nice view of the rest of the pier from up here. As the space shot goes off in three, two, one. Tiger. Last thing is the arcade with the Casino Pier Grill. Some delicious looking pizza for sure. Jersey Shore is definitely known for their pizza. Full stock bar here with way better uh, stuff on tap. Unfortunately, uh, in here, you might have known for many, many years having a carousel in here. Unfortunately, uh, as part of giving part of the land for the pier expansion quite a few years ago, uh, in conjunction, the uh, pier uh, donated the carousel to the town. It is being restored. It should reopen sometime next year. I'll put a link down below if I can find any information where that will be. But the arcade looks pretty standard with uh, latest and greatest stuff. You got Cruise and Blast, Halo Firestorm, love that. Nerf Arcade, had no idea there was one of those. You have a uh, VR attraction right here, which you really can uh, compete against people all across the world and the United States. Mario Kart, you got Falls everywhere, and then, you know, Prize, Redemption Counter, and Fun Mirrors. So, that is it. Let's look at the prize counter really quickly. Watch out for Wizard of Oz. That will steal your money so quickly. You have no idea what will happen. It's so addictive. You have some slot machines for fun. And here's the prize counter. Huge prize counter. And the final thing is a Smuggler's Quarry Adventure Golf, which is a highly themed mini golf course. You got that plane that's crash landed. Lots of caves, multiple levels. Uh, we'll take a look how much it is. And they also have the seaside go-karts, which are below and intertwined with the water park and mini golf. Mini golf here is a little more expensive. It, 18 holes is gonna run you $13, and for children, it's gonna be 11. Uh, if you wanna do both, you get a little bit of a discount, a lot of discount, actually. You get uh, $17 to do both, and children only 14. So definitely, if you wanna do both courses, do them together. Then you have the go-karts which are 12 or 12 credits. And then if you want to ride a double with your child, you can do that for just three credits in the uh, passenger seat. And here is the course. Looks like it's basically a figure eight with itself wrapping in inside of it itself. Anyone who is going to fly in so that is Casino Pier. The arcade is open all year round. The rides begin operating in uh, early April with full schedules going in after Memorial Day weekend and they close up around Halloween. Uh, if there's anything else that you need to know and I haven't answered for you, be sure to ask them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching. This has been Alex for The Coaster Spot. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out a bunch of other tour videos we've done. Just did an updated one of Jenkinson's just about half an hour north of here as well. So check that out.